with your giant roster. Oh. <laughs> Maybe didn't have yeah. enough seats. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll just have them stand oh, back here oh, behind us. Like, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> insane. I mean, okay, how does it work? How do you determine who's playing? Uh, I mean, all the headache falls under uh, Aaron and all the three coaches, you know, they have to really watch the games, constantly talk to the players, like which agents are you comfortable with or how you would like to play in the game, you know, it's all about knowing the players and then making the game plan around them with uh, IGL Aaron. So it's a lot of headache for the coaches and, and the IGL because we are a team of seven players, you know, and all of us are duelists to make us play different agents and also to make us feel comfortable and we also need to learn a lot of stuff so the game plan works. It takes a lot of energy and a lot of time and a lot of practice but uh, we've been getting there. Props to the entire team, we all, are, uh, we all are believing in what we are creating here, yeah. Yeah, Paper Thin was wondering about uh, your training routine leading up into here and Jen was also asking you about this. Uh, with that in mind, how, what was your training routine like exactly? What agents were they having you practice? Um, when you were solo If queuing. you can share it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, when everybody gave, uh, I mean, we all got a chance to play every agent. Like, not every agent, it's like two, two roles. Like, I was given duelist and initiator role to play and, you know, in trials. And uh, all the others were also splitted, you know, like controller, duelist, uh, initiator, controller, like that. And uh, we all saw the results in the scrim and we all saw how players are comfortable in what agents and what roles. And then we sort of decided. And when I knew my passport is gonna be like, the visa is gonna be delayed, I was like, I didn't attend practice for like four days. And then, uh, you know, a lot of people told me like, I should attend the practice and watch and learn. And this is the time you need to pick up some brains, you know? Yeah. So I was like, okay. And coaches also told me to, you know, come to practice, watch game. So you should be ready to step up, step in whenever it's needed and play ranked and be sharp on the game days. So it's like, I just did that, yeah. Uh, on that, coming to Korea, Sacrifices needed to be made by each and every one of the team members, some of the talents even, yeah. some of the fans and the produ production. Um, and you said you don't even have any siblings. Like, What yeah. were the sacrifices you needed to make to be here? Uh, I mean, you know, living, it's like, so Global Esports is the first team or the only professional organization I ever played, you know, and uh, Global Esports was my first boot camp. So I basically lived there for like two, two and a half years. So it's like my second home and G is like my second family, you know. Uh, so when in when I'm in India, I can go home whenever I want. It's just like two hours away. But right now it's not the case. And to leave that boot camp and come all the way to Korea, you know, leave my parents and they don't know what country I'm in. I mean, they do know, but they don't know about <laughs> how's Korea. You know, what yeah. kind of food I'll be eating. Am I okay? Is there someone to take care of me? Am I doing well? Eating well? Sleeping on time? You know. And I'm also missing the housewarming, which is uh, really important in India when you buy a new house or build a new house, there'll be a puja. So when you live in that house, everything will go good according to you. Right. So yeah, that's an important puja and I'm the only son of my house. Oh my I need gosh. to be there, but uh, you know, tournament and uh, I decided to stay here. Mm. So my parents are missing me, but they're constantly calling me, you know, come back for one day. Oh. Like, oh. yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can virtually that's like, a long <laughs> flight. Yeah. It is, it yeah. is, it is. And I don't want to miss any more games, so. Uh. Hey, but you know what? You, you came, you could, Show mom a win yeah. for today. Yeah. I hope she's watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yes, uh, difficult time. You can move, your, you can move yourself if oh, you want. Okay. So I would like to, based on our performances, I think. I should have won. You, both, you, both, you guys, when you see him move, yeah. okay. Okay. he knocked uh, his on team on down. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, we are there. Okay. Wow. Okay. It'll, it'll go higher, I think, probably. Wow. I, think you, I think you guys are, that's not too far off from where I would have Okay, why, why? Uh, based on our performances purely, and uh, yeah, of course we want to be in S tier, mm -hmm. but you also need to see the reality before you need to, you know, you need to first realize where you are to go mm. where you need to be, right? So according to me, uh, others might have different opinion, but okay. according to me, I think that is where we are. We are like A tier, but slightly B tier also. So man modest. of modesty. Pragmatic. Okay. I've got I, I, I wonder what your team thinks, but <laughs> very, oh, very honorable. Yeah, I don't I'm gonna have you move it. Last yeah. time I